I would like uh, to uh, pass the microphone uh, to Dr. Uh, Stabbing. Uh, could you please share also uh, your perspective? Um, firstly, thanks very much for having me from London, where it's strangely warm. Can you hear me OK? And um, I think what you're doing is great. So I'm a professor of oncology, and I could never do pediatric oncology because I thought it was too upsetting. And so I really admire, obviously, the bravery of the parents and the children, but your bravery as well. It was always too difficult for me to contemplate. There's a real, I'm editor of a big journal, just like our previous excellent speaker. There's a real lack of really good pediatric studies, but it's changing and it's changing quickly with the CAR T's like mentioned. But, and pediatric research is a great way to develop drugs quickly in a focused population. We're in adult clinical trials, we're actually lowering in a lot of cases the age, the inclusion criteria to 12 years old um, because there's a thought based on science that once you're 12 years old, you have an adult immune system. So, so we're actually, if you like, encroaching in the pediatric arena. And then as adult oncologists, we're looking after pediatric patients because they're surviving and going beyond 18. And there's even subspecializations of adult oncologists who look after children from previously. And I just think what you're doing is great. If we could get something like a biobank of pediatric tumors with matched blood samples and follow these children over time, it can only get better because there's some diseases, you know, like AML, where we really, really still struggle, but the lessons in children can inform the adults, the lessons in adults can inform the children. And so it's really a global community and I just think what you're doing is great. I don't really have a lot to add. Uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, your uh, insights and I think at the end I will have a couple of questions. <laughs>